on the relevance of the Morton number in the hydraulic modeling of open channel flow. My name is Hubert Johnson from the University of Queensland in Eastern Australia, and I've been working over the past four decades in open channel flow hydraulic structure, including field measurement of large hydraulic structure during major flood. Hydraulic modeling is traditionally conducted based upon physical modeling in laboratory or numerical model, for example, using CFD, or even theoretical model. However, irrespective of the type of hydraulic model, we need to ensure that we can upscale the results without major concern. That is, we need to ensure model prototype compliance, that is a similarity of form, motion of force, or geometric, kinematic, and dynamic similarity. We use the same basic principle of fluid mechanics, the equation of conservation of mass, moment to moment energy, and we need to ensure that we quantify the compliance level within zeroth order, first order, or second order. And for example, if we are looking here at this tall wheel during major flood, how can we make sure that our model can upscale the total performance without upscaling issues? The fundamental approach is based upon the basic principle of similitude and dimensional analysis. And if we consider an operational flow at the bottom right, the water depth, velocity and turbulent velocity at the location X, Y, and Z within the flow, are function of the boundary condition, the channel width, the boundary roughness, the longitudinal bed slope, of the inflow properties, inflow depth, inflow velocity, inflow turbulent velocity, gravity constant, G, on fluid properties. And then, if we have n dimensional variables, here 13 dimensional variables, that include the units of mass, length, and time, MLT, in turn, the Vashi Buchingham Pi theorem implies that we will have n minus three dimensional variables of relevance, illustrated here by rewriting the same relationships in a dimensional form. Here, we have the dimensionless flow properties within the channel being a function of the dimensionless location on a number of dimensionless parameters, among which we can recognize a Fraud number, a Reynolds number, and a Weber number. True similarity is achievable if all dimensionless numbers are the same in model and prototype, and this can rarely be achieved. In the context of open channel flow and free surface flow, gravity effects are always uppermost important, and thus we choose a fraud similitude, that is a fraud number is the same in the model and prototype, subscript M for model, subscript P for prototype. Unfortunately, in turn, when we use the same fluid model and prototype, the Reynolds number in the model will be significantly smaller than in prototype, and similarly, the Weber number in the model will be much smaller than that in the prototype, which brings some upscaling challenge on potential scale effects. How can we simplify this? One way is to introduce the Morton number, which is a function of the gravity acceleration, density of the fluid, dynamic viscosity of the fluid on surface tension, number which is named after Rose Catherine Morton. A poem, The Lady on the Bubble, was dedicated to her as part of a celebration for her seminal contribution with Dr. Haberman in the famous paper Haberman and Morton, 1956. Following the development of Professor Helmut Kobus, we can show that the Morton number can be rewritten as a function of the Weber, Reynolds, and Freud number, as shown here. And if we remember again the vashi buchingham pi theorem, any dimensionless parameter can be replaced by a combination of itself on other dimensionless parameters. And this is very relevant in open channel flow. So when we are modeling free surface flow on open channel flow, gravity effects are very important on the fraud number is the same model on prototype. In most applications, I would say 99.5% of applications, 
we will use the same fluids, air and water, in model and prototype. And in terms of Morton number become an invariant, the Morton number being the same model and prototype. And in turn, the Weber number is no longer an independent parameter because it's directly proportional to the Reynolds number. Thus, when we apply a combined fraud on Morton similarity in open channel hydraulics, that is, we have a fraud similitude and we use the same fluids model and prototype. So the Reynolds number and more correctly, the differences in Reynolds number between model and prototype will account for potential viscous and capillary scale effects on the Weber number is totally irrelevant. Plainly, the dimensionless flow properties become function of the fraud Reynolds and Morton number, whereby the fraud on Morton number are the same in the model and in the prototype. One example of application could be this hydraulic structure. In summary, since air and water are most commonly used in hydraulic modeling of free surface flow and open channel flow, the Morton number is an invariant. Its invariance simplifies the dimensional analysis by reducing the number of independent variables, including the elimination of the Weber number when the fraud on Reynolds number are retained. I want to acknowledge a number of people. Relevant references are listed here with a few more YouTube videos of relevance. Thank you very much.